in today's video. I'm making more pages for my December daily, which is going to be a ring bound binder. One of those garden ring bound binder books. It's got the really thick spine and three rings. So these are some of the bases. I think I did some pretty creative stuff. Stay tuned. Hi everybody, it's Julie and I'm back again and I am still working on pages for my December daily. Remember, I'm going to be using this ring bound binder. So I am creating base pages. This is the paper stack that I have chosen to use. It is from Hobby Lobby. Um, Paper Studio 1710896. It is called Poppies and Pines. I love this. I love the colors and it's like watercolor. It goes with a lot of things that I have that I want to use this year. So, um, and I'm actually starting my December daily um, today. So, Thanksgiving day because Tom and I have four days off in a row together and We'll be getting some stuff ready for Christmas, and I just, we're going to go ahead and start it today. So, um, anyway, so that means I need to add some more, a couple more pages to it. Um, okay, so we have already done some of the pages, and what I want to do here is I'm going to go ahead and just pull out a couple of these that are darker. I love this one. Here the poppies kind of look like roses, but I love the pine cones. Ooh, that's a good one. And I should have at least one of each of these pages in there from here because there's 20. And so like I said, dark pages. I don't think we haven't done this one yet. Huh. I don't know about that one. <laughs> and that one doesn't scream Christmas to me, but we'll see. Okay. Anyway, we'll start with these. I have a few ideas that I want to to do. One of my favorite things is when I use paper that has white on one side. We need to, to go ahead and cut this down. Remember the, the length is, we're going, or the height is nine inches. So I'm going to cut this page to nine inches. And that'll give me that little piece. Let's go ahead and cut a, this black one also. Okay. We'll cut it down to nine inches because I can't, these ones that have words on them, I can't use them as a pocket because the words on one side or the other will end up upside down because I may come back and and do a couple pockets. So those both had words. Did we have another one with words? We did. We had the, the ho, ho, ho. So all three of these we're just going to cut and they'll be 9 by 12s. Okay? So again, I'm just making base pages right now. Just Occasionally, I'll, if I'll add something on if it during these videos, these first videos, but um, primarily, whoa, that, that just flipped right out of there. So this was a cricket thing that I picked up. I don't remember where or how I got it, but <laughs> but I did. Okay, so we have this and. One of my favorite things is 
I love the way when the white has the lace edge, the way it looks up against the dark color. So that was one of the things I wanted to do was to add some lace. And if I go that, if I go this way, okay. So this is my Martha Stewart lace punch. It's my favorite one. Um, when I can see it. Okay, there we go. Okay, so you you go ahead, you make sure that you're lined up at the edge and that your holes all line up, and then you punch, okay? And I didn't do a very good job there. I missed missed out on something. Oh, I see, I wasn't, wasn't snug. Yeah, we, we're unsnug, so we have to we have to clean this up. Yes, sometimes we make mistakes, and it is my journal, but I do I want it to look okay. I can save that. I might be able to use some of that. <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah. You guys, it's just hard for me to see. I need. I think I, I think I need to I think I need the new glasses. Okay, okay, so the, what was happening was we were off out here. Okay, so let's go ahead, make sure we're up to the edge there. Okay, so we're gonna try this again. We're gonna pull this out, line it up. So there's little holes. I mean it's literally looks like the um there we go. Okay, make sure we're lined up there and go ahead and cut. Come down. We have holes. Make sure we're lined up on this side. There we go. Much better. That's, uh, yeah. Okay, line up, lined up. Well, there you at least see what happens when you don't line up correctly. So line up there, line up there. Okay. And there we go. Okay, so we made it all the way down. And what that will do is make it so that we can go like that okay and so if we grab our template so this is my template I'm using and okay so this is where our holes are gonna go and we can put our hole on that side um, it's not gonna it's gonna be hard to open up that way but what what we can do is we can turn this okay so we're just trying to make sure we have the right the right size here so this will go on this side okay and it'll open like that but you see how pretty that is with the line like that Okay, and then you can even take, you know, another piece and put it here and have, you know, um, like a waterfall, which we are going to do, but I wanted to show you. So I think that's really, really pretty using our punches, and that gives me a one. And I'm going to want a second one. I think it's going to look really cool with this, this Black Mary. So again, this is a Martha Stewart punch. 
Oh, you see, I did it again. Oh well, I'll just catch up here. You gotta make sure you're lined up on that top. So there's that one. This one will have it go this way. See, or I can go that way. But I, I really like the way the white actually ends up looking like lace. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead, pull this one in. And remember any of these, I can turn them into a pocket later. I can glue it down if I don't have a lot going on that day, but I can use it, flip it out. If I do have a lot going on, I can add a flip-flop inside of it. So I think it's just going to be a great, okay, so I can add my, my what I'm going to add inside here and on the outside here, or like I said, if if there's not a whole lot going on, I only have one picture and, and just a little bit to say, I can glue that down and that can be my page. And you still see the Mary, Mary, Mary. So I love, love, love this way. This is turning out. Okay, so I have an idea. I don't know if it's going to work. Um, I want to measure... Okay, so there's 12 and almost 5. Okay, 12 and 5 is 17. Half of 17 is 8 and a half. Okay, we only need 6 and a half, but we're going to be okay. We're going to go ahead and flip this up okay so we're gonna flip this up flip this that way okay so that's gonna give us like if like two pockets right there okay but I'm thinking Flip this back around, or okay, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Okay. Um, okay. Remember, this is our. This is how much. We have now I can go ahead and plan that that's going to get glued down and be okay. It's like Oh, 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 oh. Okay, can be double sided or okay. I'm I'm thinking. Can you hear it? <laughs> Can you hear my brain? Okay. Thinking, thinking that I should have held this down when it got folded. Okay. Okay. So, if this were to come back over like that,
What if, what if, okay, I have an idea. Here we go. You ready for this? <laughs> Are you ready for this? Um, go ahead and fold it one more time. I love this plaid paper. I'm trying to be careful here. So apparently I might end up with two of these pages. We'll see. Of course I can always use this other piece as a... Um, okay, so I am thinking about going ahead and um, using the... Using this again. Okay. Oh gosh. Wow. I just had a cramp in my wrist. No, actually my hand. Okay. So put it in, bring it down, line it up, line it up, punch. Bring it down, line it up. Line it up, punch, bring it down. Line it up, line it up, punch. Okay, so I want to thank you guys that have messaged or left comments and let me know that you also are planning eventually to do one of these books. And um, so you're taking notes. <laughs> I've uh, wanted to do one of these. I have several of the Betty Crocker cookbooks. Um, and that probably would be easier because of the red. But I need um, the bookcase that I'm cleaning out. There's um, a certain number of things I can't put back in. So, okay, I gotta line this up. It doesn't wanna line up. Okay, there we go. I have to remember, to remember who's boss. I am the boss. Just remember that that okay. okay, and then we have this piece left. <laughs> Look at all those little messes. Okay, so there's that. So this is the part that I want to be folding over. Okay. You see, like this, I want this to be the piece that's folding over. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this piece over. It fits, right? Yep. Okay. And I can go ahead and pull it over so it's like a tuck spot. Again, if I need the space, I can tuck something in there. If I don't need the space, I can go ahead and glue it down and it can be part of the background. So there's the pocket and then you're going to turn it over here and we'll have a top tuck on this side. Okay, so using one 
half of the piece that we cut out funny we'll be able to we'll glue it down here okay so this one isn't I don't want it to flip or anything I'm just want it to be to be a tuck okay cool thing about this this tuck right here is we can actually you can put a picture up here like this and tuck in your your explanation or if you have other ephemera or whatever I think that's going to be really really fun but look how cool this this is all going to look together oh my gosh and I know many of you shared the um excitement that I have over no rules because usually we are all working on the challenges and there's all the, all those rules <laughs> which is what makes the challenges fun but um yeah I just for this I want to be able to use things that I have so so there you go so that is another page. The holes will go over here. Okay. The holes will go over here. And like this. Okay. The holes will go here. I love that. Love that. Love that. Okay. So, um, okay. Um, Like I said, I wanted to do some creative type folding. Okay. away for right now. Okay, so let's go ahead and cut this one down to the um, the nine inches. Okay, you know what? I think I want some, I want a different paper. I think I want to do a plaid, that other plaid and Even the, the presents would be good, but they have to go, all their bows are, um, some of their bows are on top. So that, okay. So do we like that one together? I like this one. Okay. Remember, I'm not sure about that page anyway. Okay, so, okay, so do I want this paper coming up or do I want this one coming up so plaid on top or plaid on bottom Ooh, I, okay. I like the plaid on the bottom. Okay, so the plaid needs to get cut at nine inches. Okay, so I'm cutting the plaid at nine inches. So this just gives you a few more ideas on folding papers for um, for one of these ring bound binders. So I want to wish you a happy Black Friday. I hope you are doing whatever it is that you want to do in this particular time and um, on this day. And I hope you are enjoying it. Okay. Um, 
I'm going to go with that side there. So first I'm going to go ahead and fold this the way that we need to fold it. And I want it folded like just like this one is. Okay, so we're going to take this and we're going to fold it in. In, fold it up. Okay, just like that. And then I'm going to take this piece and I am going to lay this down okay so we're I wanted the oh this one I wanted this to be the top okay so I'm gonna lay it from here and I'm gonna lay it there okay you see that I've got it um right where I want it okay so let's go ahead and mark that Okay, it's marked. Now we're going to pull this over just like that. Make, we're, make sure we're right on that edge. And I'm going to go ahead and draw a line with my fingernail. Because, you know, why not? <laughs> Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and grab, this one has a scoring board on it. I don't know if I'll be able to stick it underneath there or not. And I'm gonna try, okay, yeah, no, can't. Okay, so I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna cut a piece off. It's, um, it's not gonna be the bottom at this time but at least it'll make it so that I can come in and score this right here okay so I don't know if you can see that this is my scoring okay so I'm gonna score that You see that? I got a little scoring mark there. Okay. There we go. There we go. Okay. There. Okay, remember it's going to go right up to the top. It's going to come right down here. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, so that. Oh, I can see it. I can see it right here. Can you see that? run my fingernail right along the majority of it okay okay so this um, I don't know if I can cut two with this cutter I know I could with the other one but okay so let's go ahead and see if we can line that up there's that, that, okay, 
try to get it in the middle of the, the thing here. Oh my gosh. Okay, so there's that. Come down and attach to that. That will come and So this can have that flip, or it can flip from like this, okay, okay, um, oh, I should have made it a longer flip, yeah. you know why, because this is where the holes are going to be, okay. fix that. We'll just turn that all the way. It's coming in. Yeah. Okay. So, and so since we want to make this look like it was on purpose, I'm going to go ahead and We'll fold it right here. Okay, so I'm gonna line it up there. Fold it. It's we're gonna give it like um, shiplap. <laughs> it's gonna be shiplap. So we put the wrinkles in that. This can um, can go ahead and be put down. Um, we could even come in with another piece of this that comes across and gives us another pocket when it comes time to work on this page. Okay, but I love what we did here. Okay, so this is going to attach to that. Okay, you see that? We're going to go ahead, we'll attach that. And I'm going to attach it here. I don't know, when did I find the glue? Or did I get a new one out? It wasn't there all the time. I just didn't see it. Oh my gosh. So this is going to be an angle tuck side tuck pocket here. Okay, so this this will be one day. Again, this can end up be the background. This can stick down to here, but if not, I can open it up. It can have more going on there. This We'll have all that, or it can get tucked down. This is where the holes will be, right here. Oh my gosh, I love that. Love that, love that. And I mean, we'll even be able to do stuff like adding the doily in, because you know, I love, I love a doily. So. So there's that one, 
And so we have this one here that has this tuck spot here. Fold it out. The holes are going to go here. We'll be able to flip it over and it'll have this side that will have this flip out. Or we can go ahead and you know turn it into a pocket. There's lots of things we'll be able to do there. Okay. I love that. Okay. And then next we have the ho 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 with the white lace. Just to flip the holes will go here. So like this would be on like this. When you, these two are side by side, that's how you'll open it. Okay. Um, could even do something like We're going to do this. We'll just um, I guess it's a reverse flip flop. Uh, no, it's not big enough. I don't know if you can see. I, I want it to come over to about here. So that, that, that piece won't work. Oh, we still have another one to do. Okay, so here's our here's our Mary. This one, so where this one will be on this page, this one will be this way. And the holes will be here. And you'll open it up this way. And then we have this awesome one. So we have the tuck spot there. The holes will be here. And, and here. So the holes will be on this side. It'll go like this. And it, it could end up, you know, being in a, a page as well. If you're here for the premiere, I'm waving. Hi. And say hello to Chip. Hi, Chip. I'm so glad you joined us today. If this is your first premiere, make sure that you hit that live chat button right down there. And just know that we are a pre-recorded video, but it gives us a chance to have a chat. Come on over into the chat, say hello so that we can welcome you. Um, it is Black Friday, so we might be a little light, but um, we'd love for you to come on over and say hello. Also, we do this every day at 1030 Pacific Standard Time, and we'd love to have you join us. Uh, we are all watching this video together for the first time during that premiere. Um, we also have our Scrap All About It with Dear Julie Julie Facebook group. It's another place that we can uh, get to know each other better. And just remember, there are free digitals in the file section. So do go check those out. There's some Christmas in there. There's some Thanksgiving. And there is a full digital kit that I gave um, our community while we're home, safer at home. We also have our Etsy is on sale. And the other thing is, is today is November 27th. And every month on the 27th, the Diamond and emerald and above patreons for the dear julie julie patreon they get yep they get the hint today for next month's challenge so that is one of the perks of being a diamond patreon um, a diamond jewel so all of my jewels um, each tier is given a precious jewel name so we have uh Sapphire, yeah, saf opal, sapphire, um, ruby, diamond, emerald, topaz, and something else. <laughs> it's just gone right over my head. But we have a oh, pearl, I think. We have all of those, and everyone that's a diamond or above tomorrow, they are going to get to know what we're going to be doing in December. And so that's one of their perks. They also just got a tour of the warehouse. 
So um, if you want more information, check out Patreon. Dear Julie Julie, it's in the link down below. It is a um, it is an artist community way to support artists and it's one of the ways that I'm able to uh, do the videos every day and I want to thank those patreons that um, patrons that make that possible so thank you and let's get back to our program okay so we do have one more with words and So this one can fold this way. Where's our template? Here's our template. Okay. Sure, yeah. that one like that and what we can do with that is you I mean you can come in and put a pocket across you could put a border you can put a border over here even though the holes are going to be here it could still be a tuck like that and that would give you some color there. I kind of like that. I kind of like that. And it would be done. I like that. <laughs> I like the fact that it would be and even though if you don't need the inside that's okay. You can go ahead and glue this down. Um, you can leave the top pocket, like if you glued this down, you can leave the top pocket open and have something that pulls up. Um, you can slit across and have something to go, you know, turn this into a pocket. There's going to be a lot of things, choices for me, um, what I'll do with that. So let's go ahead and glue this down. Okay, so, um, so I wanted to remind you that the Etsy shop, the Dear Julie Julie Etsy shop is 50% off everything that's in there. There are journals, there are journal kits, including there's still some of the Mimi's um, So Cute, the vintage, like from the 40s, 50s, and 60s uh, memorabilia that I put together um, to celebrate my mom's birthday last year. And there's still several of those, and then there's several Christmas kits that are full, full, full kits. I mean, you probably can make a couple journals easily out of them, maybe more. And um, great ephemera, great pages for their themes, stickers, um, just lots and lots of stuff. I really like that. I really like that. Okay, so... That simple little thing right there. So what's going to happen is there's going to be holes here. and But you'll still be able to put things in this little tuck, um, border tuck spot thing here. Okay. Okay. And then I had this really cute wrapping paper that was given to me. And I usually like to have a page where we um, feature our fur babies. 
So I'm going to go ahead and cut this. And it just seemed better to just go ahead and cut it where there was a fold than um, Anyway, I thought that it would be better to cut it where there was a fold rather than, um, you know, having a fold in the middle of my book. But I think that this goes well enough along with the other different types of things that I have in here. And so I'm going to go ahead, we'll go ahead and cut this off to start off with. like okay so how what's the best way to use this let's see this is the other paper pad that I wanted to utilize if I could and I don't like any of that with that and let's go with Where's my paper pad? Okay. So, find... The bell's kind of, kind of fun. Oh, the plaid looks good with them. I like the plaid. That looks good, but it's... Ah! Oh, the presents! Oh, I like that with them. I like this. I have one of these pages, don't I? That I've already... Folded. Oh, it has the sleigh on it. Okay, it's okay to have more than one. But I think I really, I like, out of all the pages, this is the one I like with, with this. It's wrapping paper, not wall. I think I said wallpaper. It's wrapping paper. You knew that. Okay, so I don't want this to be a pocket, so I'm going to go ahead and cut off the three inches. Do I want it to go that way or that way? Oh, I like it that way. And that's totally different than what the other one is. So... The three inches needs to come off in this direction. Okay, so measure it to nine inches. Because our top to bottom is nine. Whoop, make sure that we're not. Okay, so there we go. Got that. We're going to go ahead and just fold this like, like this. Okay, so fold it over. I have the template here underneath. Okay. 
love that. Love, love, love. Okay. So I want... Take this, fold this over. Okay. And and then we need to cut. Not much, but we got to cut. Okay. okay, so what I'm thinking is adding this to the edge like that. Okay. Or the other thing is it could just go in the center, but I think I like it better on the edge. That's what I'm going to do. What do you think? Was it was the edge a good idea? Okay, and this side is longer, so this is the side that I'm going to go ahead and glue it on. Okay. So this, this looks like it's the straighter, straighter edge. So it's kind of going to go on like a flip-flop, but a little different. Okay. So. Okay. So our glue is going to go here. And it's, it's on the front, you know, the, this side. It's kind of like, it's, a, it's an inverted flip-flop. <laughs> ish thing. Okay, so let's go ahead, put it in, flip it over. Okay, and then this will be able to well Okay, so if you do this, make sure that you um, do your fold both ways. Okay. So there's that. And again, if you don't need the flip, you can go ahead and glue it down. And the same with the front. If you don't need the flip, you can glue it down. I love that we used some of this wrapping paper that was um, Happy Mail. And it is ready to be a page. I always have, usually have, well, you know, I have great pictures of the animals. I take, they're my little, they're, they're my little team here at Dear Julie Julie. So, and at our house, so we go. And the ones that get along is actually Midnight and Chip because they were raised together. Then we brought in the Fosters. <laughs> the Lucy and 
the Wiley. So there we go. I think I really, really like that. So for today's pages, we added an inverted flip-flop out of wrapping paper. So don't forget wrapping paper when you're making your journals. We added a side border tuck that gave us this be beautiful border covering up some of the white. Even though we have white here, we've gotten rid of the white there. Okay, Our holes will go on this side and our holes will go on this side. So if these were in the book or in the journal, they'll be on the binder clips, like on the binder rings like that. Okay, and then this one, your um, binder rings are gonna be, or your holes are gonna be here. We made this little tuck and this top tuck. Again, holes will be here. So, you know, that could be something like on a page like that so it would have that frame oh my gosh I you guys I am so excited I love December daily so the holes on this one will be down here I'm still looking that I may you know add something this is a bad example but I want to add something like that okay so it'll it'll be like that and then it'll have a color on this side. So, so watch for that. We'll be, we'll be adding to that one. Again, the holes are on that side. And on this one, the holes are on this side. I love that. Maybe the same thing, a little this here. And it could either be a pocket or it can be a flip. And that would make this like a waterfall with a few different flips again the holes go here this one our holes go here this flips out you have this here and you have this here that we've built oh okay we had a little had a little glue incident there okay we're all fixed awesome so again, this could go ahead and get folded all the way down, okay, and then just be a large pocket or even get glued to where it's glued all the way down. So that we have those options. And again, the, the holes will be here. So if this was in, it would be like this. You see how beautiful these papers are going to look together? Oh my gosh. And I'm thinking that, you know, the napkin that we've chosen could come in also and be on a place like this because it's going to go along really well. So there's the napkin. You can see, won't that be beautiful to, to go ahead? I could go ahead and just put napkin on one of these pages. So maybe that will be tomorrow. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this. We got one, two, three, four, five, six more pages done. And um, I, I think that this is going to be just so, so much fun. I am I'm really excited about this. So um, some of the other pages that we've done in the videos the last couple of days we did. These were from the basic Christmas paper kit that's in the Dear Julie Julie Etsy shop. It's on sale for 50% off. And you get all these pages that I used. So, so we have those. And... This one with the napkin page on the inside. Um, this one with the present, we're gonna do something to it. This with the fold out. What happened here? I folded wrong. 
might have to grab another one of those. Put the fold out and this with the pocket with Santa. And this is going to be my inside page when you open. Um, Santa and Mrs. Claus. There is a tuck area here and a flip out on this side. So this one has this here and we have our ledger paper which I like to add. So there we go. And that is what I have so far. Um, I think we're doing pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Because we're not counting the ledger or the front one. So we're halfway there. Halfway to 36 pages. And I love them. I just think that this is going to be so cool. So are you enjoying this? And um, what is your favorite page so far that I've made? I definitely think, see, and these ones we made are just giant pockets. Okay, the, the holes will go over here and there will be a giant pocket. And this one is a pocket with the snow people. This, one's a, um, this one I haven't decided yet if it's going to be a pocket um, this way or a pocket coming up the top. But the, the holes will go over here on this side. All these pages right here, this one's another pocket on the side. This one is going to be, the holes will go here and you'll have a flip out with possibly a border tuck here or a flip flop. If you don't know what a flip flop is, you can research it in my channel. The holes will go here. This was from a coloring, an adult coloring book. This is also from the adult coloring book. So the holes on this one will go here and you'll be able to flip out the ugly sweater. And another flip. So, yeah, I'm pretty excited. So these are the ones that we made today and I, I think this is coming right along. Right along, right along. We have a C for Christmas or for Claws. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put the December Daily Playlist right up here. It's going to give you lots of ideas if you're even thinking about December Daily. It's a review. It's got several videos. I mean, it's got a lot of videos in it. But it has the reviews of all several of the years that I've done December dailies and then I'll put a Christmas embellishment video down here and you or YouTube's going to put what they think you might want, want to see down here and um, the Christmas embellishment video will be there the playlist for December daily will be over there there you go so find something to celebrate every day have an amazing day by the way I'm feeling so much better and thank you again for your prayers. Be thankful, be grateful, be blessed. Have an amazing day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye. And there's Chip, top dog security. He was leading the pack.